Well, good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to If These Walls Could Talk. I'm Wendy Stewart. And I'm Tim Moss. And we are here for your entertainment today. Yes, If <laughs> that, These Walls Could Talk. That, that's, oh. what, that's what we do. How are you doing, Tim? I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing? Good. I am, uh, you know, just, you know, moving along, uh, missing Alan. Yeah. Uh, it's been a week. But, you know, moving along, went to the Imperial Court. Right. 38th night of a thousand gowns. It was a 15-hour day for me because uh, I um, was in somebody's, uh, they call it stepping up. This is going to be our new emperor. And I, you know what? I was thrilled and blessed. And how cool was it to not only be at this event, to be part of the event? Yeah, um, right. I, oh, the Night of a Thousand Gowns, for those gorgeous. of you who don't know, yeah. is an incredible display. Oh, my God. The whole evening is uh, It remarkable. was a display. And, yeah. you know, it's really, it's based on the court system. Now, I don't mean like, you know, Judge Judy. <laughs> I <laughs> that was too good to pass up. I mean, like the court system, like you know, like uh, Harry like and, the, yeah, and the, Meghan, the, the, the uh, royal right, court, the royals, <laughs> and um, you know, we all have titles. We all come dressed to the nines, and what we're really known for is we all wear incredible rhinestone jewelry. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So well, you, and tiaras, and it I was mean, the it's whole like, thing. I, my gown, full length. Okay, gown. gown. My dress was killer. Oh my God. I know that was killed. gorgeous. Thank you. B&B Couture, thank you, Eva, for dressing me. Uh, the dress was designed by Aletta. Absolutely gorgeous. And I, t I got to tell you, this designer, there were probably nine other things that were on the same level that uh -huh. I could have picked. So when you find, you know what, when you find the person that can really yeah. make you shine, Girl, you go with it. Absolutely, absolutely. You and go she with it. did make you shine that night. Well, we raised a lot of money, of course, for Trinity Place, which helps homeless mm -hmm. teens. Everything the Imperial Court does really is to lift up every event we have that we entertain at, our tips, everything we do is to help other organizations. Mm -hmm. And I always like people to know, besides what we do for LGBTQ organizations, the Imperial Court also entertains in nursing homes. Uh, mm -hmm. We're called Hearts and Voices. I haven't done it yet, but um, again, I'm so proud, so proud mm -hmm. to be part of that organization. It is. It's wonderful. So. Well, and also that was on Saturday night, but Friday night, there was another party leading up to it, correct? What was, the, oh my God. I yeah. remember. At, at, was it Taj or at So Slate? that was at Slate. And I Slate. love that Tim brought that up. So mama had to make an executive decision. Oh, that's After right. The week I forgot with, about like, that. Alan passing and the ashes not going where they were supposed to go. I've, that's a whole that's other a, story. Yeah, that's a comedy right. And right it, there. After that week, it was Friday night, and our amazing uh, friend, performer Dorothy Bishop, had been on uh, last week. And Dorothy said to me, Are you sure you really want to go out tonight? The weather was crummy, and I had my Hollywood wings under my eyes because <laughs> I was getting all dolled up uh -huh. for Saturday. And I thought, Do I really want to go out and drink and like not be fresh as a daisy uh -huh. for my 15? hour day on saturday so you know what tim and i don't like staying home but i've learned something from tim i've let tim <laughs> so does, you did a tim yeah i did it to tim says no i know you can't believe that but the other thing i've learned from him tim will make his appearance at things he'll stay 45 minutes and then he leaves i call it i'm or tim, go to the next one to go to the next one he calls it i'm tim mossing <laughs> <laughs> okay, and he's usually in bed by eleven. No, you know what? Otherwise, you no, it's smart. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, it's it's a really really smart thing to do. Um, shout outs here. Of course, we saw Michael Musto. Was it? Yeah, Night of yeah. A thousand and Dorothy, gowns. Dorothy, Bishop. Dorothy Bishop is now a member of Night of a Thousand Gown. She is a member of the Imperial Court. I helped pick her court name. Cha cha. Cha cha chihuahua. What is it? Cha cha chihuahua. Yeah, it's like cha cha chihuahua or or no cha cha charo. Because she does Charo, yeah. <laughs> she did bring Luther to the rehearsal. She did not bring him to the event itself. <laughs> Luther's probably very bitter over that. If you want to catch <laughs> Luther, who those of you who don't know, that's Dorothy's Chihuahua, who only has three teeth left, but he'll use them. So, yeah. <laughs> He'll so be. Dorothy, so Luther did a Tim Moss. Huh? He, he did. Home. He's Luther stayed <laughs> home, but you can catch Luther at the Easter parade. Dorothy has yep. made him a torturous Easter bunny outfit. You can catch his picture on her Facebook page. And he page. doesn't look real He's happy. He's so bitter. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I'm like, you're going to get bitten. You wonder what the dog buys. With the three it's teeth It's left. like he's got three teeth and bunny ears in this month. <laughs> so, um. But I am, uh. Our dear friend, uh, Reverend Yolanda, had lost her husband, Reverend Glenn, a couple of weeks ago. So Adam Shapiro and I had went out and took took Reverend Yolanda out I'm to so lunch. We had a ball. Right. And 
Um, I mean, there was lots of laughter and good. tears and yeah. more laughter and good food. And yeah, it was just, it, it was, it, it was a, a joyous occasion under the circumstances. Under yeah. the circumstances. Because yeah. it was pretty sudden with Glenn. Oh, just yeah. Just like happened yeah. like yeah. overnight. I know I spoke to their um, mutual friend that we have and uh -huh. they, they, we were talking about their memorial be sometime in May. Yes. So, yeah, it was really sudden. I, I don't know. You know, I I connect. Okay, I'm going down the rabbit hole. I connect all of these people passing at this time to this eclipse. Everyone's There's so excited. Something. They want to know where they can see it and everything. I am going as far away as I possibly can <laughs> from this eclipse, okay? Because I'm, I'm telling you, if you talk to people and see how the stars are aligning and all of that, you know what? I'm going to, I'll be home. I'll be Tim Watson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so um you know what we love colorful people on this oh show my gosh. We know it <laughs> and i was i wanted to wear something really colorful and i realized i don't have that many colorful stuff so i thought let me just piece this together no, but this was in honor of our guest today right in honor of our <laughs> guest today because our guest today is probably one of the most colorful people i would say splashy and flashy 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 <laughs> um our guest today is described as a wonderful living work of art i took mm -hmm. that quote from her bio because i love it with an artistic background as colorful as her wardrobe she goes by the name Princess Wow or Mindy Fredkin. She uses her hat happenings, her colorful dolls, her original mm -hmm. smile music and comedic storytelling to explore her journey from depression to starting a revolution. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, she has started a revolution. Put your hands together <laughs> for the colorful, the fabulous Princess Wow. Yay. Yay. Hi. Oh, oh my we God. No, we're all cozy. Are we good now? All right. Oh, I, you, you got Mindy. You got Mindy. Right. Right. Yeah, we are. Mindy oh, Carol, uh, used to be in sitting on top of people in the world. <laughs> that's how the world of podcasting is. We have very like small space. And, that's you know, good. It is good. It's like all cozy. And then, that's you know, cool. we can get it. Right. You like it. Yeah. <laughs> It was good unless unless like someone told you, oh, I think I may have COVID. That is not yeah, right, right, exactly. But we're way past that now. How are you doing? Yeah. How are you? Oh, You're looking fabulous as always. Well, I just had my pink hair. I on. love that. This, well, uh, this is great. Did you do this now? I saw Mindy last year for Easter. Did yeah, you, right. You did the earring. Well, it was blue. It was split last year. Okay, uh -huh. so this is what I've been letting my real. This is my real color. It's like three color salt and pepper. Love it's a beautiful. That. This is my real. Oh, this is you. These no, but colors. I no, but I have to keep this because I really yeah. like having my real color. Right. Absolutely, it is. I like but I have to have, have color. I have to have color too. So right. it's like yeah. They call <laughs> this tipping, right? Don't they call this tipping when you take? Know. Yeah, is I think that's tipping? what they. Oh, okay. I thought it was like ombre called. Ombre know. is like different shades. I think oh. when you just no, like I can draw it to oh. the end, it's yeah, like. Just well, actually, end. I wanted two colors. I think next time I'll have. Like, you know, I like having two colors. You could do one on one side, like five colors, right? You could do one on one side and one on the other. No, I could. No, yeah, I could. No, I think you know, I don't know. Anyway, it's okay. Anyway, it could change at any moment. Yeah, it's all about Mindy's hair today. So, um, are we going to be? seeing you at the Easter parade. Yeah, I, of course. Okay, good. I have yeah, to be there. Yeah, last, last year. year. Yeah. Now we'll meet on the steps again. We'll be okay. meet on the steps. Wait, with all of us coming. Oh, wait, she wait. Guess oh, coming. Oh, she's so cute. Now, this is my uh, for my likeness. This is Miss Wow. Yes, and Miss Wow. This is when my hair was blue. That was yes, my hair was right. blue. Wait, can Tim and I do this ceremony where I hold her hand and yeah. he holds her hand and then we hold it up in front of this? Okay. This is Miss Wow. Yeah. This it's is what happened. Right. And I have like three dolls, okay? But anyway, um, wait, wait, are so all three of them? from a photo of me here. See, this is from a photo this of me. Is so cute. My, uh, this is on my poster. How do people get these dolls if they want? Well, it's, I don't make them. No, it's a doll maker. So they can order it. Yeah, you can just like oh. show your picture. And she may, she's amazing, actually. So uh -huh. anyway, wow. Like, so this is from my an outfit in my head when I had, and here's my she's pink so glasses. Cute. Uh -huh. cute. So last year at the Easter parade. Yes. Okay. You had blue hair. Last wait a minute. Year. Yeah, yeah, blue hair. Okay. So. As soon as I took out my, nobody was photographing me until I brought her. Ah, as soon as I went like this, all the photographers were photographing me. <laughs> like, oh, I'm, I'm, she's a the star, not me. You know what I mean? Anyway, so yeah, she's fun. Anyway, so um, you anyway. can do what my friends from the Imperial Accord are doing. They're all showing up with their chihuahuas. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the same size as a dog. Right, right. Absolutely, right? Bring your dog, bring your chihuahua. I'll bring my dog. I don't right. have a dog. I, don't I have cats. Right. I can't bring my cats. No, like the cats don't. The cats, I would not the recommend cats don't that. Travel. Yeah. Cats don't so, travel. like, I, I bring my dog. I don't even have my Easter bonnet ready. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. I feel like I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. I feel like I'm not sure. We have a week. We have like less than a week. No, we don't have a week. I'm busy. I got to work on it. Now, I have plenty of hats. I have a lot of 100 hats. I think Mindy has 100 hats. I have three. Anyway, I make hats, so I mean, of course, I have a lot of hats. Right, but I don't. Maybe you'd like to lend me one. We'll see. Maybe, <laughs> we can, wait, maybe. I don't know. I have to find you. This I is find you. Let's hit the guest up. No, wait, I have to find like, you. Yeah, we have to right. find each other. Right. I know. We have to find. We each will other. find each other. We will find each Absolutely. other at the Easter parade. So you have been very busy. First of all, you have an upcoming show April 11th. Yes, here at Pangea. Right. Yes. Pangea. I'm excited. My, my debut. I have never. Oh, wait a minute. Wow. I didn't realize that. Yes. Yes. It's my debut it's show. You. Oh, yes. So I got in here. I'm going to thank Tammy Face Starlight. Oh, we love. Okay, everyone loves me. Everyone loves Tammy. So, but you know the latest thing, that video well, that she did these days? I know. I saw it. it has, I think I saw it again. Yeah, yeah. but it was just uh, nominated for, um, I forgot which oh, right, festival. Right, she was nominated for a festival. Mm -hmm. okay. it, yeah, so yeah, that's amazing. amazing. Yeah. So, Tammy, so Tammy, Tammy Faye, Faye is yeah. wonderful. Okay, yeah, so she her. recommended me. Mm -hmm. And then Richard Barone, do you know who that is? Yeah. Uh -huh. right, Richard Barone is one of my best friends. Oh, Rich uh -huh. Barone. I know him, but I'm not Richard. 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 It's Richard. It's Richard. Okay, so Richard's an acclaimed musician and producer. Uh -huh. And so he wrote a long note to Stephen, and then that did it between Tammy oh, okay. and Stephen. That's like I did. That's I love like it. I'm here. Well, <laughs> okay. we're, anyway, we're happy to have but you. But wait, here. I have one more person to thank. Okay, so okay. Richard Skipper. Yes, uh -huh. Richard Skipper. That's how I met you, got yes, you in the absolutely. pandemic. That's how I yes. met you. Richard's the one who told me about you. He did. That's uh -huh. you know what he it's said. Yeah, and we did the we did the book club, book club yeah. together. But yeah. you guys were in the book club. Which yes, for our, for our one book. I did yeah. one book only. Uh -huh. but the thing is, okay, and a shout out here to Richard Skipper. Yeah, Principal. I had told Richard I would say. And I would thank he him. just yeah. recently, yeah. Yeah. Oh, very important. Yeah, he yeah. lost his mom. Oh, I know. He lost his mom like a week or two. Yeah, really recent. So shout out to Richard. Um, our sympathies. Also, Richard has a show coming up in Palm Springs, and right. unbeknownst yeah. to him, uh -huh. I called everyone that I know there, <laughs> oh. and yeah, I'm like, it's, it, yeah. "It's at Revolution. You have to buy tickets. The club is Revolution. Oh. Richard's got a show. God, you want to know him? Maybe I should play. Yeah. Maybe I should play. It's called Revolution. <laughs> Revolution. <laughs> Revolution. Revolution. Yeah, and I have a smile. Revolution. There, there you go. Well, wait a second. It was meant to be. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> Richard Skipper has a show this week. That's Friday night. He does. Yes. Do you know where it is? Wait, where is, is it? it? Uh, it's, oh, it's Laurie Beachman. No, oh, Laurie Beachman. Beachman. Laurie this, this Beachman. Friday night. Uh -huh. Right, okay, right. Because so Richard is at Laurie Beachman this Friday night. Dorothy Bishop is at Triad. <laughs> this Friday night. You know what? We can't keep up with it. It's, okay, no, I know. It's, it's like exhausting. I have to memorize. I never. Right. Nobody ever <laughs> asked me to memorize. I do this on my own Okay, because okay. I'm compulsive. Okay, all right. Okay, so, so okay. Miss Mindy, like, yeah. how did all, you know, like, where did you like grow from this color, this entity? This okay. So design? this is what happened. Where did Mindy <laughs> grow from? Okay. <laughs> but anyway, well, I was anyway. I was always into fashion, or I was like a hippie. My come well, from a where? fashion. Yeah, where, 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 where did, Baltimore? Oh, from Baltimore. Oh, oh my God, God, with the bridge. And, and yeah, oh, right. That was. Oh, I'm from funny. the suburbs. Uh -huh. Which suburb? My best friend Timothy. Pikesville, Owings Mills. I know it. I know where Owings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Right. Anyway, so, so you grew up in Boston, or Baltimore. I'm sorry, in Baltimore. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking you were close. You were good. Sam, you're good. You're so good. You're good. It's been a long day. It's not over so, yet. Okay, okay. So you grew up in Baltimore. Yeah. And tell us about but that. I always like, do. Have yeah. brothers and sisters. It's too provincial for me. Do you have brothers and sisters? Like, what okay, was yeah, it like brothers. growing up there? And <laughs> it's a long story. You gotta come to my show. Oh, what, no, what, oh, what the hell is all in your show? Okay. <laughs> obviously, you're a creative. Oh, you, it's like very crazy. Okay. But you were a creative kid growing up. In I what was. Kind of house? I was. What kind of house was uh -huh. it? Very fancy, fashionable, okay, fashionable. very colorful. Okay. Very colorful. Um, my parents got divorced when I was two, so I had like two families. Like, oh, okay. Dad, I had a bright yellow room at my dad's house, so and I had a bright green. I love it. My mother was a pure designer, so it was like, oh, okay. Like, okay. Yeah, now you got, got it. Now got I got it. Now, it's all all right. all yeah. making it's sense. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Now. Right. Okay, yes. but I was yeah. a hippie, so it's like I had my designer clothes and I had my hippie clothes. Oh my god! Uh, depending on so what cool. I was doing, I'd yeah. go to a wedding or bar mitzvah, and then I right. go to like my hippie <gasps> clothes. I love it. I love you. You ran the gamut, but they were all colorful. Whatever you. I don't know if they. I don't know. I can't. Well, it's sort of. Yeah, they were not all, but like I was like starting my. Well, I was really, brand. 
Yeah, but starting my brand, I guess I was the best dressed in seventh grade. Oh, I love it. Oh, I, was, oh, I decided I was. I don't know. Oh, if I was. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Minty? That's all it takes. You decided, right? Today. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah because decided. that was very color coordinated. Nobody else was. I was right. like, everything was like you matching. were the best dressed. Everything with was what matching. Any of them uh, it thought. sounds like you I were decided. definitely the best dressed. <laughs> I decided I was. Okay, absolutely. So, so, I decided I love I was that. Best dressed. I know. So anyway, um, what else do we think? Okay, so all right, what happened was so then I when I moved to New York, I was living in LA. Well, wait, okay, you it's went a long story. Right, oh, okay. I have a long story. Right, oh, okay. no, and this, is all, and this is all in the it's show. In so, okay. Yeah, that'd be, okay. You grew okay, up so, in Baltimore. Baltimore. We just were in the then you were in LA. Oh no. no there was okay. be, no, there had to be a place in between. There was a lot of things. Yeah. So, you kind of come to, you have to see my We will, but we need some tidbits on you. Tidbits. So you you went to college where? Where did Mindy go to college? Well, I went to a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're all over. Oh, Why did I know the answer? So the background was photography. I was into photography. Okay. Okay. I got me through high school. Okay. I was really into that photo was... shooting portraits. My first law was photography. It wasn't right. really. Wow. So did, yeah. but, did, but, yeah. but when you look back, I was like in the on... dark room all the time and taking okay. portraits. Wow. But I was going to say, but like your high school experience, when looking back on it, was it a positive thing, a good thing, or a bad thing? Only or? because, well, now it's a lot. <laughs> but the mean, photography. Everything's a long story. Yeah. I mean, it's but all the a long story. But, 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 but the photography was, kind of saved you. Yeah. Or, yeah. The, yeah. The photography and so, being Because it's in the interesting that you, you, you I mean, look through, you it, look it, through the lens. Yeah. To, of, of those years. And then uh -huh. and then I right. was like always a spiritual seeker. So between uh -huh. that, I was like TM and I was like into S to Erna Werner. So uh -huh. you got into right. right. Werner Earhart? Yeah, I was heavy. Okay. Oh, like obsessed. I was like every workshop I did. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. That's but like, I don't think it helped me, but at the time I thought it did. Right. But do you remember, Kim, when everybody was into that? Yeah. 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 I was into but it like that's... early on in like the 70s, you know? Yeah. 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 When it came out, like, yeah. When it first but came out, and it went into S. Oops. Yeah, we lost the light. But that is also part of your journey that, yeah right that's part, part yeah. Of i was always like a spiritual okay. fantasy, reading eastern religion in high school uh -huh. and this, wow. is, this is like what happened i'm sitting on my designer bed uh -huh. and so, you know, wait which house your mom's house, house. Your mom's house. house. my mom's mom yeah, she's like mom a bed. Away, right. garden came all the way from new york <gasps> to photograph our house oh my, my mother god was a very talented designer wow, wow. that's so yeah, cool I know. yeah so anyway so um so we go so i'm sitting on my bed with all my colors a peter max ashtray Mm -hmm. I would, Mac oh, with what, he take a picture of me. Uh -huh. I actually have an original. Okay, okay. I'm going to sell it though. Wow, that's, <laughs> you know what yeah, that's really cool. So you had a Peter Max Ash. A Peter Max. A Peter Max Ash. Ash <laughs> if I can talk, like I can talk. Peter Max. Okay, so Ash I'm sitting there reading about this Eastern religion book, and it said, "Set an example to the world." And I was very depressed. It's like a long story, but anyway, a lot of depression in my family, me, and everything. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, one day I'm going to set an example of joy and happiness. To oh the my world. God. I love you know, even then, how old were you when that like 16 epiphany or 17. came? Wow. As a teenager. I made a declaration. Cool. I would do that different times in my life, and they all right. manifested. It's love like so many years later, I started right. the smile revolution. Oh, I love that. Isn't that neat? Yes. It's really kind of cool. And when the colors, we'll go back to the colors. Yeah, the colors. Okay, so in the 90s, I moved from LA to New York. Mm -hmm. And, um, <laughs> And uh, anyway, so what happened was everybody was wearing black mm -hmm. in New York. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. That's all. Is everybody I still in that? It's, I not, it's, it's, it's not so black anymore here. It's, it's interesting. There's dark. much more color, but the 70s and 80s. No, I was sometime oh, in the, the 90s. 90s. The, the 90s. Okay, so yeah. the 70s and 80s rolled into the 90s. My yeah, husband right. was well known for Alan Kaplan. Known for black head to toe, yeah. even now. Right. Okay, all right. So even anyway. now, I never wore anything but right. black. Okay. So I get so, that. Oh, yeah. So I moved to New York in 83. Okay. So I guess it was like 83. I'm wearing hats and I was doing wardrobe styling. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, there's too much black. I'm like, and so I go into, I don't know if it was 80s or 90s. Maybe I've started the They've 80s. all become one remember. time period. 80s, 90s. I'm not sure. Okay. So what happened was I went into a wig shop and I bought a aqua wig Ooh. oh my goodness and aqua looked good on my skin it looked right. really uh -huh. cool so i'm wearing an aqua wig and i don't know all of a sudden i started and i'm making hats well that's the early 90s so i guess it was 90s okay so early 90s or 90 whatever and then i started wearing more color it's like i got to match my aqua wig right, right. Of course. You can't it all started, started with it started with, with the, the aqua wig, wig. The wig. wig. i love that and then i started buying a pink wig and yep. i dyed my hair pink. that's nobody how it had, had, that's how nobody else had colored hair in the 90s right i love uh -huh. it so, Minty, that's huge you were yeah. a trendsetter I, yeah well, i will always been ahead you're ahead of your time now my friends i grew up with they always i was always ahead of my time uh-huh so I was like doing the colors and all the stuff, and it got me on Good Day New York like 
three or four times and I got on. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No, people are stopping me on the street. Like, were you oh, in the Joe you Franklin show, like, show ever? I was, well, Joe and I were good friends. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, okay, anyway. right. I knew Joe, Joe Franklin. Franklin. Was yes. it. Well, I, I was on his show. I wasn't on his show. He didn't know me back then, but I was in films. He did film me when we met. He did film me. I love Joe Franklin. He was so New York. He loved the smile. That would have been right up his alley. That was his cookie. You were out? Oh, you probably get him cookies. He right. goes, like cookie. <laughs> would, yeah. That sounds like him, right? So now I used to hang but out yeah, with him. Yeah, he would love to smile. He filmed me. He, yeah. uh -huh. so anyway, I have a letter from him. He gave me like oh, a letter. Oh, my God. Right. What a great thing to have. I know. You know? Have about the smile. He loved that. He loved that. Yeah, he Were you at Studio 54 at any I wasn't point? Living. I, was on, I wasn't living. I was in Baltimore. No, I know. But eight, late 80s, you would have been up here. Was it still going on no, in the late 80s? No, mid 80s was when mid I did Mid Mid eighties. No, I never yeah. went. You never I just went. Got you didn't here even in go. Yeah. Not in eighty three. It was still yeah, that, yeah, when I was I in. I just. I don't know why I, I didn't meet men, Mindy till now. Uh -huh. why, why is that? Why didn't we meet or till me, now? Or we're just, you meet people, and you're supposed to meet them. That's yes, what I mean. That's it. Okay. okay, so you might so you're wait. up here. Yeah. Right, so wait. So no, we're not going to London yet. Not going to London yet. Not going to London yet. You're the letter viewer. I'm going to be in New York. So can I go with a book? So you're in New York. I came in New York. Right. Everybody else is wearing black. I'm in the New York You're dying your hair. You got to. Yeah, got to. Oh, oh, okay, this, I got, got into making cats. Okay, go yeah. wearing hats. No, I was going to say. Yeah, how? Did, how? Yeah, we want to know because that. Because you like I don't know. No, I was a wardrobe stylist, and then I was doing, oh. let's see, how did I get into Were you working editorial? As oh, a I was doing so mostly was like advertising, okay. commercials. commercials. I did a, yeah. a movie. I, I did costumes for a movie. And so what happened was, how did I get into making hats? Oh, I was working with a fashion designer. Mm -hmm. Who was it? Wow. Can you tell us? No, I don't remember. Okay. It, was, it, was, it was a while ago. Okay. <laughs> but he wasn't a famous. He was okay. a fashion I don't know. I don't yeah. remember that okay. part. Okay. He designed. He was, he was a fashion, fashion designer. And right. he said, you need to do like a, a photo, a publicity shot for your styling career. Oh. And you need to do something really unique. Mm -hmm. So I had a dream about a hat. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, really. I had a dream. I did. I had a dream. So it's like, I, I love that, though. You know, it's so how right. it just this pops yeah, up from your happens. I was wearing hats all the time. Uh -huh. And I had on my deck, I had these streamers from a party. And I had a black cocktail head in my closet, okay? And I never sewed a day in my life. Okay, it wasn't like Amazing. a girl sewing. Right. My parents uh -huh. were like, we I, went shopping. I never sewed. Is, we went shopping. No, I didn't. I love that. I just, right. anyway. Sewing was for peasants. <laughs> 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 we went shopping. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. No, this is no, You that. never I sewed. And then never. Okay, you. so this would happen. I wish I would have took. So you have the dream about the So I had the dream. The next day, I'm stitching, hand stitching the streamers on this hat. And it turned out amazing. And then we go to the photo shoot, and I was working with this top photographer, and he got a makeup artist, and I was very beautiful. I mean, I, I people say I'm well, fine, but I was you, are, you have a good, what we call a good face. You have everything uh, yeah. where it should be. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You know, okay, mouth. So I, I yeah. still look pretty good. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and you've got good bones. You have it. Yeah. All right, Absolutely. so listen, I think I still look pretty good. Okay. Uh -huh. So this is okay. the thing. So um, so we they took the photo. It's like, it was amazing. Ned Harvey took the picture. Okay. And um, it turned out incredible. And it was the first hat I ever made. And then I got obsessed. I have to learn how to make hats. Well, actually, I didn't want to learn how to make hats. I just want to design hats. Uh -huh. But I ended up talking to this famous hat designer who was teaching at FIT. And she Fabulous. goes, you have to learn how to make them, indeed. You right, if you're going to design, design Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I signed up in night school at FIT for two years and learned how to make hats. Wow. wow. Milliner. Milliner. Yeah, so that's what happened. That's how I got into making hats. But then, see, I was a stand-up comic. <laughs> see, there's so many. <laughs> okay. okay. Wait, wait. That's so I have a lot of stories. So this is our Mindy. Yeah. I love Mindy. Mindy. She's the so lot. colorful. Yes, so when you're doing stand-up comedy and while you were at FIT. Yeah. All right. So I'm, like, I'm doing costumes for a movie. I didn't even know what I was doing because I'd never done a movie before, but I had a staff of people under me. So they yeah. saved the day. Okay? I love it. But Thank then on, st on set, Michael Janae, who's on Broadway and he's a screenwriter too, he kept saying to me every day, like I would make, I always made people laugh my whole life. Like I didn't realize mm -hmm. I was a performer, but actually right. I did with, oh, it's a long story. Another long story. Right. Volumes. Volumes. They're all we have volumes of them. Hey, yeah. Come to me. But, 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 but all those stories make up. Yeah. Mindy. Yeah. Okay. So what happened okay, was, you're doing well, I'm on, no, so what happened was I'm on set every day and Michael Janae says, you need to be in front of the camera, not behind the camera. You uh -huh. could be the next yeah. comedy sensation. You were just so, all you do is get up and talk. I would just tell stories about my life that day and everybody's on the laughing hysterically on set so and then the screenwriters i mean that's i mean this the uh, special effects guy said there needs to be mindy dolls that's how i got the doll uh, 
got it. He said, you need to see Mindy. And I like my mannerisms with the hands, uh -huh. you know, the whole thing. So anyway, after that summer in Pittsburgh, every day Michael said this, you got to be in front of So I signed up for a comedy school after that summer. Where was the comedy uh -huh. In New York City. Which one was it? I don't remember. Jesus you know, Christ. I remember, I remember everything. <laughs> Names. I know, but damn it, with the most. No, a so, no, you're no, no, fine. Don't second. worry. I took Steve Rosenfeld's comedy experience. Okay, All everything right, was wife. set up in punchline. It had nothing to do with me being funny. All it right, had so to wait. do with set up right. and punchline, no, which no. I failed at. Yeah, me too. Like, wait, you know, we're not that. Thing. We're not that. Okay, no. Okay, okay so go on. All right, so what Hamilton's comedy school was? He wanted me to like memorize the first night of class. No, the first night class, he goes. Okay, I don't, I don't want you to be funny. I just want you all to get up and talk. And I'm like, I can't do that. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm like, no, oh, I can't. And like, right. I'm naturally funny. So it's like, okay, everybody's getting up and talking. Nobody's laughing. I get up and talk about my day, and everybody's on the floor laughing. <laughs> right. But then the rest of the course, you uh, like have to write jokes, and you have to like memorize that's it. That's not fair. I bomb yeah, the rest of the time. Because right. that's not you. Right. Yes, yeah, so I called my camp. teacher up, and I said, I'm really depressed. I'm like, I'm bombing every week. So he goes, some comedians are naturally funny, like Robin Williams. So you have to have yeah, yeah. to talk about Mm -hmm. So he says, the last class that we just get up and talk. So that's what I did. I talked about what happened on the way to class, and I had every laugh again. Mm -hmm. so then, but then you get on stage with the lights, and I'd never done it with the lights in uh -huh. a comedy class. Right. Comedy, you know, the comedy uh -huh. class. So you bombed again. No, no. So I was. I had a lot of stage fright at that point. <laughs> you had yeah. stage fright? Yeah. At that wow. point, I did. So wow. I still did well, it that for like That is very intimidating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because all of a sudden you're on stage, and, like, right. and then I did have a director helping me and like coaching me. Mm -hmm. He's a friend of mine. So I did have, and then I was, I was actually on a TV, I was starring in a TV pilot <laughs> teaser. I, I'm so, not right. so, <laughs> so you were yeah, wait, I love it. It's it's on top of stand-up comedy in the light. Now this. she's in a so TV much. pilot. Well, it was a teaser. It didn't end up making uh -huh. on TV. Pilot. It doesn't matter. Right. So many things. Sorry, but you were starring in it. They oh, chose you. Comedy 101. I love it. They oh, chose from you. there, yeah. they chose you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. So anyway, yeah, but that's it. They chose you. Just remember, well, they I chose met them you at New York Women funny. Film. You know, I want to remember New York Women Film. I am. Because I was wardrobe, and then right. I met this producer and director. Um, I love it. Um, and they, they they spotted my comedic talent. I love uh -huh. it. But that's that how that happened, but it didn't go anywhere. But, at least, uh -huh. at least but what I a great experience. It. That was fun. Yeah. It's great. And I was the star of it, too, which uh -huh. is kind of cool. Nice. I love it. I, it's just, what look at all the layers. No, that that, just, layer, real, just layer, real quick, like that pilot, yeah. was that memorization? Yeah. Did it have a script, or did you just roll with it? I roll, yeah, yeah, it was just kind of, I, I don't think it was They probably scripted. wanted you. They oh, wanted me to yeah. just, I yeah. was like, they would give me, would tell me what to say or like each right. scene yeah. or whatever, but it wasn't like a major script right. or thing. Uh -huh. You know, we, like we had Leah Delaria on last week, right? A lot of this stuff, with they, when they hire her, they're writing for her or letting her do her thing. Mm -hmm. You can't take people like you or you or me or Leah Del and put them into like, okay, now this is what the role is. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not, not it's like, no, no, it's not going to exactly. work. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Too often, though, that happens. Yeah. You know, too often it happens. So, all right. So, okay. you had your, wow. your, your <laughs> moment at the sitcom. Did you go back to stand up or you were done with it at that point? Well, I did it for like two years at night. Yeah. It was wow. like, I got, I, I was like, it was hard for me because at night, it's like people are drinking and smoking. Yeah, and it was right. like people are smoking. And you could smoke. And, and, and I don't smoke. Right. And I can't stand smoke. And I don't drink. And so it's kind of like, and I was stage fright. So then mm -hmm. after two years, I said, yeah. stop. And, and they also, with women, they want you to talk about your tits or your dating experiences. Mm -hmm. It's like, I had nothing to say So about what happened them. was, people kept telling me, keep going. Keep right, going. I was right. like, no. But then I created a show called A Hat. I mean, I went to, yeah, then I yeah, started doing it. Then I started doing making hats, and uh -huh. I missed. Performing. It's called Hat Happening. Okay. Hat Happening. Your so show was I called that. Yeah. Okay. I so what that. happened was, so because of stand up, I missed performing, and then I started making hats at night, and then I just created this show called A Hat Happening, where I would like, sell my hats at the end. I was like on Fifth That's Avenue and Madison so cool. Avenue. I think that that is such a great story. I would tell story. Right. I would tell story. I wear outrageous outfits. There's your comedy, Mindy. And then I would there sell it my is. hats at the end, right. and then yeah. it started. Then people started booking me to like just do the show to perform. But right. that's how that story. But you created your own that. thing. Yeah, you, right. own you had yeah. to create your own show because you can't put you into any kind right. of box. Right. Uh -huh. And I would wear these outrageous <laughs> costumes and everything. So and then you'd sell hats. I love that you were selling. <laughs> yeah. <too. laughs> yeah. I mean, I would sell this top stores later, but like this started with me selling them in my hat hat. Uh -huh. Yeah. Lo I I totally love it. So um, no, all, we have all of this. Just yeah. Such a creative life. 
we and have you, just, uh, you yeah. that's what i love it with your spirit is you just Thank you. over here and then over here and then yeah. try things this just and unfold. do this things are just right unfold. exactly right but you, that's you, how my life is but you time. you follow opportunities that pop up and that's wonderful that's that's the sign of a full life yeah totally okay. you're doing good mindy mindy's doing good <laughs> i want to know how i got my name my yes. stage name princess wow. I'm here. I'm princess like, I'm wow. i can't help it okay that's no okay. we have we have that okay no, everything is okay here okay, with okay, us. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. We're just having fun. We're not, okay, okay, we're yeah. not on a clock here. Okay, okay. Right. So what happened was, because people like, some people are like, oh, she calls herself a princess. Well, like, well, the name was given to me many years ago. Okay. So when I was doing my hat shows, people, like I had two writers in the city calling, um, came up with the same name. I was the Mad Hattress. That was my oh, name. I, I love that. But I didn't want I to like your name. You know, I, yeah, I was also called Miss Hollywood for a long time. Uh -huh. People, I have all these names. Uh -huh. They just give them to me. They just give me names. Right. <clears throat> so what happened was, I didn't want to live with the Mad Hattress long term because it's limiting because it's just hats all the time. Uh -huh, right. And also, it's like I'm not mad or crazy. So I'm like, I really didn't want to. Okay. So I'm like, I have to have another stage name. Right. So my friend who's, um, a theater director he i don't know i was at the spiritual retreat and he started calling me wow i just got the name wow because i was saying wow all the time i was wearing outrageous costumes so he kept saying wow <laughs> no he just called me what your name he just like kind of gave me the name wow and i'm like okay <clears throat> so i call myself miss wow was like a nickname okay uh -huh. <clears throat> and then i'm like having tea with my friend who was writing for the new york times and she goes, you're not Miss Well, you're Princess Well. Love it. Oh. Duck, <laughs> so, I said, duck. so I said, I like that. It had like radiated, like yeah. it felt like right for me. Uh, absolutely. So I didn't use it right away, but I like, I, and at some point I said, you know, I think I'm going to use that. So that's, it's and perfect. that was in the 90s. I've uh -huh. had this a long time. And I, I finally had a trademark because I've had uh -huh. it for so long. Princess Well. And that well, is I'm how Princess Well was born. Well, right. I, because I've said, wow, I don't know how many times in the right. interview <laughs> alone. <laughs> I'm just like, it's Yeah, I know. Name. She just <laughs> I know. Right. Well, actually, so, so you can clear your throat and you can yeah, have some matcha. Ma uh, I'm a matcha girl. Okay, and, and we, have, we have a clip to Let's show. Yeah, we'll clip. take a look at the clip. Yep. <laughs> I do need my matcha. I do too. I love it. Little notes about Mindy. Let me see what I have, what I wrote here. Can I read my own? Right. She's demure, dainty, and dignified, self effacing, quiet, and well, wait a minute, that's somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Let me turn the page. Okay, she's bold and brash. She's colorful and crazy. She's totally delightful. She is, we are very much two of a kind. She is the princess. Wow. And we're very lucky to have her here today. So my family were all drop dead gorgeous. My mother looked like a movie star. My dad, I said, looked like Richard Gere. My stepmother, everybody was drop dead gorgeous. And I was cute. But when I got older, my nose got bigger. <laughs> and I was a hippie, you know, everything is like natural. So my mother says, you have to get your nose done. And I'm like, Mom, I'm not getting my nose done. It's not natural. So she goes, she we had a big fight. And I was under eight, I was 17. So I was like, I had to do it. Well, anyway, so I go to the, so, okay. So I go get my nose done. And my mother's like, okay, it's going to be very natural. Not like everyone else's nose jobs. So it's like, okay. So, all right. Well, anyway, so I got the nose job. So for months, my eyes are black and blue and bandages. So after three months, they take off the bandages and just, my nose look good. So see, I have a good profile now, you see. <laughs> I'm afraid of beige and what it can do. I'm afraid of beige and what it's done to you. You live in a world neither here nor there. You live in a world where all you care about is beige. <laughs> I want to tell you about Princess Wow's Hat Happening Show with her ukulele intermissions. Um, it's a show that tells wonderful stories from uh, Mindy's uh, colorful life. And then the whole show culminates when we all get on stage, we get the big dress up box out and we all try on hats and have our picture taken. It's a wonderful thing. It's a bit of a laugh. It's a great show. I like that. That's yeah. You want to walk around a little bit model? Well, not really. <laughs> okay, Miss Pretend you're like the queen, the queen of England. I know she looks like, you know, how she waves, how she waves. That's what she This is just, we're just having fun. Yes, a little. Okay, wait a second. 
That's lovely. That is actually. Oh, actually, it matches your outfit. That's really John. Is Look at that. Put it not. that is <laughs> Wait a second. Wait. How's that? How is that? Very stylish. Very stylish. Wait a second, Jan. Here. Uh, okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> That's fine. No, ukulele? I didn't know. Where did that come from? Oh, did you... Okay, what happened was he was married to a folk. It's a long story. <laughs> another, another one. <laughs> <too. You're laughs> <gonna be ready. laughs> you were married to a folk, folk singer. singer. He was close to Pete Seeger. That's right. how I got into the music world. Okay. He was friends with Garla Guthrie and Richie Haven. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And Richie Haven's recorded Princess, one of them. Princess, wow. I'm impressed okay. by yeah. that. Yeah. That's well, like, of course, yeah. you meet a musician, you, know, yeah. you go to Woodstock. Yeah, right. Exactly. Well, we haven't even got to Woodstock. I know. Yeah. We <laughs> I was married. Well, she's my husband now. We're still good friends. Was, yeah. was been because, that, that I mean, <laughs> that means on good terms. Right. And, yeah, you know, we've written songs for the right. show after the Smile Revolution. He always supported what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. So, um, yeah. Anyway, what were we saying? Where the ukulele was. Right. Okay, so I was married to him, and when we would play together, he got me into singing on stage. Like I never mm -hmm. would have sung. I was singing in my shower my whole life. You were a shower car. singer and, and you were a car, car singer okay. every day. So anyway, so I when I started hanging out with him, he's like, "You have a good voice." I do. So anyway, so he got me on stage singing, and then mm -hmm. but he would play guitar. I didn't need to learn how to play an instrument for right. years. Like he would play, and I would sing, and I just like the shaker, you know, whatever. Uh -huh. And then, but I had a ukulele, and then during the pandemic, and then he moved away, and then during the pandemic, I had a ukulele. He left me a guitar in, in the garage and two guitars, whatever. And I started learning how to play ukulele. And did you guitar. teach yourself? You know, yeah. online. I mean, I would like take uh -huh. classes online during the pandemic. You were able to do uh -huh. it though. That wow. You well, then I, took, I, mean, I, then I started taking classes in person too. Yeah, so that's now, easier. So now, anyway, so that's what happened. So it was like I had to force because he moved away, and I was like, didn't have my guitar player anymore. Right. So that's what but happened. It looked very natural. You're just picking it up. Yeah, she just drum in. Well, and, no, it's like anyway. So um, anyway, so it's I'm not a professional musician. I say look i'm just a character playing the equal <laughs> right like, but a lot of lower your standard <laughs> you know a lot of funny people play the ukulele yeah. tiny, tiny tim right. there seems to be comedian oh, wait a second I'll play tiny the, tim, wait will you have a, a story. story well okay rich, of you do. wait richard, richard barone <laughs> wait richard barone produced an album of tiny tims you know and so i'm walking down the street with richard barone one day and he goes I feel like I'm a tiny Tim. I'm like, why? He goes, well, whenever I weave with tiny Tim, everybody's staring and like everybody stares at me wherever I go. So I have a tiny Tim. So you, that, yeah. Yeah. you see what I mean? Yeah. 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 So that's a tiny Tim it's connection. Tiny, I, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I just love it. You're Richard Brown. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it does seem to be a natural progression for comedians to play the ukulele. Okay. And, okay. and, and you use it in your show. I love it. And I hand really, paint really them. I, I have Princess uh -huh. Whale and Smile. You I hand the paint whole... them because I'm a painter too. I don't have anything painted right this window. Okay. So Smile, I want to know everything behind. The smile revolution. Okay, okay. All right, because it was born from depression. Mm -hmm. Right. That's important. Yeah. So what happened was um I had a really crazy childhood, which you have to come to my show to find out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we, but you can give us little tidbits. Oh, well, it's it yeah. just like there's a lot of like, well, my grandmother. Should I tell you? Yeah, you can tell us. Sure. Now you have us on the edge of our seats. <laughs> yeah. We don't have a lot of room here. My yourself. grandmother killed herself okay oh, wow. so you're, there was yeah, suicide in the was, family my, yeah, yeah. When my dad was young your yeah. father your and father's dad, mother yeah uh -huh. i'm sorry never, so he, he never really got no over i mean and, so, wow. that. That's like, right. and he found her right i mean it's like really heavy what, it's yeah, how curse. impactful it's a curse on my family so the point is is that because of that my dad had a lot of problems. I mean, mm -hmm. he was like a successful businessman. He was able, right. to, but the emotional parts of him and my, and my uncle, very... the two of them, my uncle too. But anyway, sure. the point is, it really had a big effect. Right. And so my dad was depressed a lot. It's a long story too. But right. a, a long coming like, like years, years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. right. years. Right. A long years. 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 Right. You see, and so I was depressed a lot. It's like there's a lot more layers. Because your nature is a sunny personality, but you were in an environment which, of course, you'd be depressed. Yeah. But you fought back. That's the point. Well, it was a long haul. Right. It was a long. 
long it's out there. We know that it's a long haul. Well, and again, especially if like parental figures, if your parental you. figure is, Damn, is like depressed, really, yeah. you kind of follow in yeah, exactly. yeah, right. as well. Yeah, that's what right. happened. So the point is, is that, um, so as I said, when I was, it was just very, I had a lot, it was a lot, of, I had to overcome a lot to be mm -hmm. where I am now. I mean, right. I really have but, overcome a lot. But, uh -huh. like, but I have, but I really have. But however, isn't this amazing who you are? Well, yeah. So what happened was over the, and my dad was like this, you know, biz, big businessman, everything. And I was like me out of the box. Right. And mm -hmm. he was like, couldn't, my family didn't really this? understand. What child is this? <laughs> I was misunderstood. Right. right. Of course. And that was hard on me too. Because right. I am Princess Wow. You know, right. I wasn't You knew that. I was right. misunderstood. <laughs> right. Yeah. And that didn't really feel too good. Mm -hmm. You know, and right. I was very insecure. Well, and and a lot feeling, of the feeling, uh, did you feel like you had disappointed them or something or? I, I never felt, I never felt really loved to, even though right. I, yeah, not right. Right. I didn't feel, I didn't I look at the love, I mean, in the show. Yeah. Okay. And there's like, a lot to this. Right. Right. I'm yeah. giving you like the surface. Well, you're giving us right. right. but yeah, it's, I want to bring it up because it's important. Right. It's very important what you right Do. absolutely and it's very important what you over and, and also a lot of people think oh she does a smile relation oh she just always had a happy childhood it's like no mm -hmm. no came from tragedy and depression. Right. right thank right. you yeah right. know what i mean and all the yeah. color and all the things that i i uplift so many people every day go every day isn't but that amazing came from a dark place right a lot of a lot of times so if able... there's a seed in the ground and it's got to kind of drown it's got to be watered it's thank you go through with fertilizer which is basically shit yeah it's right right. right tim it's got to go through all of yeah. this and pain and a torment to grow and to grow before it can bloom well, into a, it before it can bloom into a beautiful flower. Right. Yeah, and the same with you. you I know, know you yeah. went through a lot. And yeah. spread more seeds wherever it goes. Yeah. And that's what you and that's so what you're going, done, so with your really yeah, so what so with your father. Was, yeah. 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 So what happened was um the last time so over the years we did a lot of healings because you know I have a spiritual practice, everything, mm -hmm. and that's what got me through this, which I talk about in my show, but I'm not gonna get into it now. But the thing is is that um so the last time I saw my dad conscious, so I was in the hospital with him for like weeks mm -hmm. in Florida. And we had a lot of healings. He gave me a lot of blessings. So I was, was I was there. I was with him. That you I were the one there. I, yeah, was th I was visiting. And he ended up the third day, we had to take him to the emergency room. So I was wow. there praying and I'm a very prayerful person, everything. And mm -hmm. so the last time I had to go back to New York, I was doing the, my one woman show for an independent film, the hat happening. And then some other, I was doing bar mitzvahs. So I was like making hats with the kids, everything. Mm -hmm. So I canceled everything for a few weeks of and I had course. to get back. And right. then the last time he, I saw him conscious, he gave me a big grin. Oh, oh my God. And that smile, yeah. and the smile was like pure right. love and no yeah. judgment. Right. right. I always right. felt judged by him because uh -huh. he couldn't understand. Your whole life. Like, so out of the box for him to grasp me. You know, right. and, I was, and I was like this free will and hippie artist, you know, and I was like, mm -hmm. you know, but he was probably that, at that point on transitioning. Yeah, he was. Well, and that, to transition. and that yeah. I think he finally saw you. The real right. like, right. yeah. yeah. And, and I felt it. And, and loved I got it. it. And you could feel oh, it. And wow. I because wow. it was wow. That's wonderful. And that That's had beautiful. a huge impact. Uh -huh. And then um, that year, I mean, I almost didn't make it that year when he died, though, mm -hmm. for right. a lot of reasons. Right. Mm -hmm. I really was, like, not functional for a little bit. Right. Right. But I had somebody praying for me, like, every day. It was, like, really, like, Anyway, but I was on the radio a lot in Woodstock. I was living in Kingston. And it's like mm -hmm. I was on the radio a lot in Woodstock. I managed to sold, you know, you dress kept your my thing collar. going, was, right? You, know, you did your thing. No I don't know how, but right. even though I was like, felt like I wasn't functional, I was still in my costumes and hats. Mm -hmm. And I was like going on the radio and I was a co host. And I was like, in this, anyway, and then and an occasional guest. Mm -hmm. And Christmas week 05. It's like, uh, it's like, I heard this, vo it was like a voice came. It was like, okay, it's time to start the smile revolution. I got the idea. Wow. Was, well, when, after the smile, I go back to New York and I'm interviewed before my show. And it was like, what happened was I, it's like came out of my mouth. It's like, we need a smile revolution in the world. Oh, and gosh. I said, that's like an inspired thought. I'm like, I mean, right. it's like came through me. And then, you know, my dad died a week later. Anyways, went to a really dark period again. And then as Christmas week, it was like another thought. I didn't even think about it again for a year. Mm -hmm. Christmas week. It rang it in your ears. Yeah, that's how it am. does. And then yeah. I was like, okay. And I went from being very self-involved to how can I help the world smile wow. more. And then uh -huh. I'm on the radio. I launched it on the radio. And then my whole life changed for the better. Yeah. Well, of course. And then I started my own radio show. Right. Uh -huh. But all that was supposed sense. to happen. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. That's the progression. Yeah. And you had to go way down to a dark place. I guess. Before so that's, that's just yeah, right, right before you could yeah. up, uplift not only yourself, but now everybody Other, else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what a wonderful I'm, gift, you know? And I've been doing a this smile. for like 18 years. 18 I years, mean, a right. Smile. I have that's a smile something. album. So when I met Roland Musa, 
who is my husband. He, uh, <laughs> I had what, one was of, your, uh, wait, was your yeah, husband? He is my husband. No, he is <laughs> my husband. He is my husband, sorry. And then he is my husband. Right. And then we started writing songs together for the Smile Revolution. I love it. And mm -hmm. I have my radio Perfect. show. When he goes, I'm, when I met him in Woodstock, he's like, I'm going to get Pete Seeger and Richie Havens on your show. They, you know, yeah. Richie always uh -huh. had a beautiful smile. <laughs> And so we started running songs, had a radio show, and so I started promoting him. Anyway, that's how it unfolded. I started mm -hmm. running songs Amazing. with them like pretty quickly. And then we had we had two smile concerts, one with Pete Seeger headlining in Woodstock at wow. Fabulous. And then right. one in the village, uh -huh. in, in Greenwich Village well, with all these amazing so I, that's how I got into the music world. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, and now it's helping, what, you, now and now it's doing, helping you now with, with everything you're doing. show and everything. I well, do. and not only that, you're doing your one woman show here. here and yeah, April eleventh, right. seven p.m. Right. right. I mean, what are the chances? And what is of the that name? What is the name of the show? And that's because of getting into. It's called Princess Wow in Woodstock. How a hat designer started a revolution. I love okay. it. I, 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 I rolls off the tongue. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it does. Doesn't it's, it? It's a lot of words, but it does roll. It that, rolls. It rolls. And that, and rolls. And that is at Pangea, right here at Pangea, yeah. Thursday. Second, second Thursday, Avenue at 11th Street. Yeah. Thursday, April, April 11th, 11th at 7 p.m. Yeah. Okay. Now you did, I, you know, I follow you on social media. You went and did the coolest thing in the world in London. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, that yeah. I didn't know about, like this is yeah. it. You know, know. We, only know our, we only know our own world. And how did so, I get into London Color Walk? Right. So yeah. tell everybody what London Color Walk is. First yeah, well, first of all, of all EBS it. just filmed them. They're going to be on oh, here. Nice. We all can see it in America at some time soon. They just Love filmed it. them. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so um, Color Walk. Okay, so my friend Sue Kreitzman, who's a well-known artist and curator, she's from New York, and then she was New York, London for 40 years or 30 years, whatever, and now she's full-time, her and her husband and son in London. Okay, so I met her through a friend here. Um, it's a long story, but the point is, is that I met years ago, my friend Robin Hutchins had said, you got to meet Sue Kreitzman, because she's like like me, really colorful and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So I met her when she was moving full time to London. Here she is. Should I show her? Yeah, you can show it on, yeah. on the camera. Oh, she was on my film. She was the one who introduced me. Uh-huh. That's so. Anyway, so um, so I found out about her and then I started following her on, on Instagram, on you know, on social media years ago. And then they started Color Walk, I think six or seven, seven years ago. So it's every third Thursday in Old Spitalfield Market in East London. Every third Thursday. Yeah, usually almost every third Thursday. You have to follow it on uh -huh. Facebook to make it's sure. Monthly. They it's monthly. Oh, Jesus I thought it was only once a month. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. God. Oh, not oh, yeah. right, so listen, oh, yeah, it's geez. amazing. I love it. So no, it's like incredible. So anyway, it's artists. It's mostly artists and um, who are like out of the, like me. They're like colorful. They wear hats and like outrageous costumes and everything. And it's all about joy. It goes with the smile. Joy, right, it's right, all about uplifting about, others uh, with joy. their color. And, you know, color is like very joyful. So right. it's like, it's uplifting. Uh -huh. And everybody is like, really, it's like a family. It's like, I am part of this color family. Like when I met Sue in New York before she was moving full time to London, She's like, oh, she embracing everybody. You're part of the color family. It's like I just got <laughs> part of the family. She immediately became family to you. Yeah, immediately. Cool. And then I go there. I went there twice, and I follow them. You know, every month on you know online, like with their pictures. I'm like, oh my god, I miss everybody so much. But I follow them every year, every month. And then I'm in the book. Okay, so Colin is, yeah, Allen. Show them a little bit. Okay, here. This is my friend. This is okay, my friend yeah, we Jama Elmi. This is Jama. He's a fam very famous in London uh -huh. for like best dressed. Okay, he's I got like a hundred yeah. suits, and he's the most wonderful person in the world. I mean, he always has a beautiful smile. You can't tell here, but and then okay, the so, color walk is just everybody gets everybody together. Just, it's like a, okay. like the Easter parade. It is or right. It's so yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Just but nobody walks. Nobody walks. Right. <laughs> now we don't walk though. You so, just, we all get together and, and right. Congress come from all over. All right, so take pictures, and we all they take pictures. It's like a whole day, and then we all hang out and have lunch and hang out all day at the Spitalfield Market. It's all about supporting the market. It's a flea market, and they have great food stalls, and then they have like um designers clothes and all kinds I would of, love it. I would oh, love yeah, it. It's so great. Yeah, no, it's, it's amazing. Right, right. It'll, so it's all about supporting the market. Uh-huh. And I then we that. all get together and it's like the most amazing people. I just love my friends there. So I'm on the back page and here's my friend um Jan who was in my video. He's mm -hmm. on Netflix. Oh, yeah. He's on Netflix on a big flower fight. Okay. So he's a famous, he's a well known um flower uh designer. Wait, okay, so that's he's on his, she has and a show. That's you. That's so that's me. Yeah. That's oh, there, me. Me. there I am. Okay, and there's Jan, there's Jan with uh, somebody else. Anyway, so that's it. Here they are, like a bunch of us 
So That's can, great. Look at that picture. picture above. And there's my yeah. friend Marissa Mendez with the pink balloon. She has this pink balloon <laughs> outfit. Look at this. That's great. <laughs> there she is. Eh? That's fabulous. Can, oh, I don't God. know if you all can see. These, like, those are some fun these, people. Look at these oh, people. Oh, and oh, you would love every, everybody. Yeah, we would, so, we would totally love this. I don't know if anybody can see. But anyway, you can all follow yeah. them on London Color Walk on Facebook and Instagram. London Color Walk yeah, on yeah, Facebook and Instagram. And they're getting really famous because the <laughs> PBS has just filmed them. So you all see them in America at some point. And well, Miss Princess. And Miss wow. wow. She comes with me to she London, does. of course. Yes, she does. Yeah, because Minty, why don't we have a color walk here? Well, how do we do it? It's just, it's, it's so easy. It's just what they did. We all, each one of us probably knows like 25 people. We know a lot more than that, but well, 25 want, people that we know that would, one that would want well, to do absolutely. that. All right, well, you help me. You and I can Let's do it figure together. Let's figure out I where, love, yeah. where you want to do it. Where will we do it? I can't do once, I can't do once a month, but we could do no, 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 a no, color walk. Yeah, month, right. Maybe once so a quarter. Some, right. Sometime over the over the summer. Right. Yeah. Some, so, right. I love it over the right, summer. So let's do it. I think yeah. we should figure do out it. figure out what you want to do. Like like where we're um, gonna go. Like Chelsea Market or something like do that. Do it in like a market. A, it should be a market. Should be a market. Yeah. market. Support the market. Yeah. Right. All right. Yeah. That's what they know. Or, or I'm all or, about brainstorming. Or yeah. it could be um, in the summertime here in New York. One of the things I love are the street festivals. Yeah, maybe like a street festival. That would be a good way to launch it at like okay, one of the okay. yeah. Well, we all just street. get together yeah. and work that yeah. work that festival. Right. Well, if you I love the people, idea. Yeah, so let's you will work on this. I think yeah. it's great. I Everyone think loves it. the idea. I've been okay, great. I've been wanting to do it. Is anybody mm -hmm. watching who wants yeah, to be watching? Anybody who wants, to, get, who wants to help? Okay. Do okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sure we can do it. I so I love that they. How long have they been doing Color Walk for? In I London? think six or seven. I think seven, maybe seven years. And why did the? But it wasn't every month. I mean, our friend. Florent, he's the one who said to Sue, Florent, he said, you've got to do it every, the same time every month. Right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I know why it's a second. Sometimes it's a second. It changes sometimes, but you have to follow them. It's usually the third because mm -hmm. it says on here. And Colin Allen, this book is amazing. I well, when you went to do this, I, I was just so impressed. Oh, okay. That, well, yeah, no, it's amazing. Oh, wait. We Come okay, on, show okay, this okay, one. Okay. How can you not Here's show that? Yeah, wait a minute. Uh -huh. uh, this is Sue Kreitzman's um, museum home. She has a museum <laughs> home. It's her museum home. And she's a famous artist and curator. She's and uh -huh. she's the most wonderful person just... in the entire world. Oh my God. She's like my 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 grand like my she's like the godmother Look of the at color. This. Yes. I mean, this, right. is, this is yeah, yeah, it's amazing. I, I know where these people are coming. There's Jan. From. Look oh, at this picture. Oh, There's Jan, yeah, great, my friend great, Jan. Great he's picture. like my brother. He's like my brother. So are these Very people much. that are in color work, are they all artists, yeah, actors? They're, all artists. they're, yeah, all they're, they're mostly creative. all I think, yeah, yeah, creative okay. people. Here's my friend mom. Yeah, they're all creative and right. they're all colorful and they're wonderful. It's a very inclusive family. Like right, that's all, very obvious. All part of the family. Yeah. So everybody helps yeah. each other. Anyway, so you amazing. did a show amazing. while you were there too. Yeah, last how did year. That, how yeah. did that come about? Okay, so what happened was, okay, I've always been Anglophile my whole life. Okay, mm -hmm. and I and my grandfather was from London, but I never knew him. He True. died before I was born or when I was an infant. Mm -hmm. So I was always obsessed with London. Right. And but I hadn't. I've been there once when I was like a teenager on a teen tour in Europe. So I was there. Once. I did a teen tour in I Europe. Did, yeah. Okay. We were I were mean, completely out of control. Yeah, I would never yeah. let my daughter go on one of those. <laughs> right, so I did two teen tours. I went, I went to Israel two summers and Europe one summer. So wow. I went to London for two days. Mm -hmm. So I was like obsessed my whole life. You knew you to wanted London. to go back. Right? And I was obsessed. But then I, for whatever reason, I didn't go. Like I was always like LA, you know, it was like mm -hmm. West Coast or East Coast, whatever. I don't know. So anyway, so <clears throat> finally, I think because the pandemic, you know, I'm like, you know so what? Much, yeah. I have to get to, you know, it's my you dream. I've what, got to go. Right. Well, let me you that's realize that, me, right? Like, the okay. I, but I had a lot of fear of flying over the ocean. Wait, so then <laughs> what, I had a fear. Wait, wait, what did you think was going to happen? Well, I was very well, plunged. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> wait, because one plunging time, into no, the ocean. Because <laughs> one time, um, I was in, in LA. I was married. When Roland and I were in LA, and when I, when I was married to him. And we were we took us two days to get back from LA because the, the the plane um uh, emergency landed in Baltimore. You emergency oh, landed. Emergency yeah. landed. Oh right. goodness! Uh -huh. yeah. And it took us two days to get home. So from that, LA. that's where so, wait, that came from. So yeah. what happened was I could not get in a plane for three years. I had a uh -huh. fear of flying. No, because I know. emergency. Right. We all thought that's we were dying. Right. I mean, right. we were like, it was bad. Yeah. So anyway, after that, I couldn't get in a plane. So that was part of it. But then anyway, so I I was afraid of flying over the ocean. What if we like emergency landed? Yeah, ocean? right. Well, no one's right. going to make it. I had to happens. get I had to get over the fear. So right. I was like, okay, I got to go. But I'm like, I can't go. So I finally got over it. 
I finally did get over but it. But that's my friend that's, was helping. I don't yeah, know. That's a friend good. Was that's like, huge. Yeah, it was huge. to face that yeah. fear and face do the it. Fear. All right, so what happened was, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to just go. Like I was like, okay, I'm going to go to Color Walk. I, what happened was, I interviewed Jan Skates on my show. I interviewed Sue and then Jan. And he's like, you must come to Color Walk. <laughs> you <laughs> must. Wait, like, Jan's like, you must come to Color Walk and you must come now. Uh, and I'm like, now? I'm like, okay. So because Jan said I must come now, I have to you come did. now. So, he's that's, like, you know, that's, fear that's, to go. Fear that's all you needed. Right, right at the window. Wait, so I booked a flight and then I canceled because I still had yeah, to go. Right. Well, it's a process. It's a process. So uh -huh. I canceled. The, I said, can't go. So then it happened twice. I like I kept saying I'm coming. And then mm -hmm. the second time, I'm like, you know what? I can't keep canceling. Or my friends in London mm -hmm. are not going to believe right, me. Right, coming. right. So the third time, I'm like, okay, that's it. Third but time I talked to my director. I talked to my director. And I said, you know what? I'm not just going to go to Color Walk. I want to do a show there. Yeah, absolutely. I can't that's just go yeah. to right. Color Walk. So I walk. And I, I, agree, I agree. If I'm going to go Smart. all the way to I London, yeah. I got do a show. Yeah. Right. You have to have a place. Yeah. So I said, do you think I you think I'm ready? And because that'll that'll give you that extra push. That, to do yeah, it because also. I'm like rented a theater. Right. I just rented a theater. What I have is like I just, love it. She goes, just rent a theater. I'm like, really? She says, yeah, just go rent a theater. Mm -hmm. And within like a day, I found a theater it's easy. to rent. It's easy I just rented to do that. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah it's easy. They, it just London, was meant to got, be. I don't right. know. I just found a space right. and rented it. Right. I love that. In London, there uh, theaters are much more. In Camden. I went to Camden and there's all these like theaters above pubs. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Camden, they have like the Camden uh -huh. fringe thing. Okay. okay. So, so the yeah. point is I just said, you know what? I'm just going to do it. So Good. because I, I found a space right away, but I had like a short period of time. I was like going in like six weeks or two. It was like, oh my God. How, did you, like get, how do you get people to come to it? How well, do you I have my color walk friends. Yeah. yeah. I love it. It's what like, do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. What do you mean? Tim, I love. It. I just love the whole yep. idea, right? The audience was already there. Yeah, exactly. All Mindy needed to do was get right there, right? space. I've got a bar, and you've got costumes. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. So I love, girl, I love it. That's, that's what happened. And Sue's helping me, and Jan's promoting it, and all the oh, stuff. Nice. And so that's what happened. And then I, I also am involved with other organizations in London too. Oh, I had. That's I got a style. I'm a. I was nominated being a style queen in London. Oh. Oh. Remember because yes, yeah, I actually you forgot. No, it's a long story. No, but you know what? That's How cool is that? Okay, so what happened was, and it's well totally deserved. Shocked. Thank you. So, what happened was, is that you know, so I'm part of this because I did this other show, Ageless Wonders, years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, I was like involved with all these organizations of people over 50 and all the stuff. You so got best national solo artist for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. her, and that was in London. And a best solo no, no, artist. Best solo. And that's my that's my director. Okay. So, <laughs> so, but but I did you. win a couple awards. You though. did from yeah, that did. show. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah, okay. tell us about that okay. show. Well, I did win Best Costume and Best Seller. <laughs> best Seller. Best in show. <laughs> I had to get Best Costume. Best show, yeah, of course. So what I happened was, was you know, so part, because of that other show, Ageless Wonder show, that I toured with in L.A. and New York and up the Hudson Valley, um, I was part of this, I am part of this organization called Advantages of Age in London. Mm -hmm. So they, for the first time, they had an award show. Oh, I love nice. it. This past in November, I couldn't go, but I was like busy at Carnegie Hall. But you know, <laughs> I love it. I couldn't go to London. I was busy at Carnegie I Hall. I was. Richard Brown <laughs> had a concert there. Uh -huh. I had to go. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't go to London. Right. That the next day, I was like, I couldn't. No, fly. I, I wanted to though. Uh -huh. I could not. Your heart it was too was much. There. Right. My heart was there. So what happened was it was that first award ceremony. So I was I was nominated. I didn't win, but I was nominated a style be, uh, style queen. Mm -hmm. But still, nominating is huge because right. you know who won. I'm in the category with a famous costume designer Ooh. who's won two Academy Awards. Oh Jesus! So I'm in that. I'm in like the same oh, I group. Love that. I, lo I love it. This happens. I mean, is that cool? That is I mean, amazing. Like, that's like I'm okay. Okay. That's yeah, I'm good, I'm good with that. That's, I'm, good. That's, I'm nominated. That's, I'm, that's, I'm, right. I'm nominated. That is totally. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it is, right? In London. Right. In London. Right. In London. Right. In right. London. Right. In right. London. That's right. I mean, so I mean, wow. Really, right? That is really something. Because, I mean, there's so many people in London. My friends right. are amazing and style and everything. And so yeah. they, nom they nominated me. Just shows Only you five people. It, but it shows you it can happen. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. it was really, I was totally shocked. I was like so surprised, but I was like so happy. How cool. Right? It is cool. How cool. It is in London. Yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, that That's is cool. So right? cool. It is. Yeah, really. Thank you. Really. It started in seventh. Seventh grade. It's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> Seventh this grade. is a whole trajectory it's starting in seventh grade and it culminated being nominated yeah. in that category with an Academy Award.
<laughs> All right, so everything came full circle. Yes, as yes. it well, does. And also, I just want to say, this, okay. I love this. Yeah, this, this, is yeah, this shirt. Okay, this shirt, I just got it. Okay, it's so, so this British. shirt, I just got it at a vintage emporium in Newburgh. It's a 70s disco shirt. It's I great. Love it. Yeah, but it's falling apart. But, but I don't care. It's like the these hat. things. These are, and when I made the hat to go with she it, she made the hat that matches. It Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Isn't that cool? That yeah. is so Tim, cool. show her now. Show your nails. Look at her nails. Oh, yes, I was. Not I looking her did nails. this for you. I, oh, I did no. it for you. I did Just it for you. Beautiful. I mean, so I much usually don't wear nail polish these days, but for the show, I do. Oh, that. Well, I thank that. you. Yeah. No, I had mine done for Night of a Thousand Gowns to match my toes. Oh, okay, okay, I don't okay. wear nail polish either. I, don't I, like, I, don't like I have a lot of animals, day. so my hands are in water all Me the too, time. Yeah. And it's so like I don't it's always <laughs> only special occasions. Oh, Dolly, 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 Dolly. Isn't she great? Wow. She, is she is very, great. very, very, she is very, very She's the star. Cute. She is the star. No, I'm not the star she is. <laughs> You're going to be able to not only catch Mindy April 11th, 7 o'clock here at Pangea, she will be at the Easter Parade this Sunday on the steps of St. Pats along I'm with at, the rest of us. Twelve thirty or one. Yeah, yeah, I usually now, go there how, around. Yeah, yeah. How, how can people find out? Like about hats. Hats. Yeah. To well, you can just. Yeah, I'm. Well, I'm on. Um, well, on my Instagram yeah. is the dot real dot. I have all these dots. I got yeah. rid of these dots. It's the real princess wow because somebody stole my identity a while, like a year the real ago. Princess I hate it's the happens. real princess wow, but it's dots in between. Okay, so you can okay. find me there. I'm always but showing. But they can Google that. you too. If you yeah. Google you, you yeah. But I'm also Google. on Facebook yeah. under the the Princess Well Network, and I'm on princesswell.com. So if anybody you know, like I used to do my hats full time, but I was always doing my hat havings. But now it's like I'm so busy with like shows and all mm -hmm. stuff. But I still do my hats. Part. Right. You know, I still I do would. my hats. Like I mean, your hats are you. Yeah. I'm not doing, I'm not wholesaling though right now. I used to. So right. But you don't have the time. Henry from... Vendels. I used to sell. Are you uh, kidding? Wow. wow. Oh, yeah. Yes. Of course. Wow. I you know. know I did. Did. You have what? A life of layers. Lay really. A lot of layers. Yes. A lot of layers. Lot of layers. Well, again, layers. Your, your outfits Prolific. reflect your colorful life. I guess. <laughs> I guess that's right. Yeah. I guess Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Well, so we've anyway. got we've got some comments. Yes, yeah, let's right. do our comments. So we've got a lot of Stratton comments. Says hello, my dear loving hey, yeah. royally. My <laughs> my royally. We are the Lori royally. Towers. Hey, Lori. Yeah, Hi, Lori. Lori. <laughs> says it's oh, the, love me some It's Mindy. like oh, an easel yes, exploded Lori. in. It's like an easel. Oh, yeah, right. Because Easter is just a second. It's like going, an easel Laurie exploded says, in the best possible oh. way. It is. <laughs> oh, good. And Jezebel, I'm all about colorful hair. Jezebel's hair yeah. is outrageous, gorgeous. Oh, God. Um, Lori again, love me, me some, some Mindy. Mindy. Suze, hello, Suze is a designer. Says Incredible hello, designer. Hello, Suze. <laughs> okay, good. Apollonia, hello, uh, Apollonia. Apollo, no, uh, Apollo, Apollo. Okay. He's yeah. an artist. And yeah. He says hello. And Gladioli Gladrag says, love this. Thank you. Hey. Arts and arts. Oh, good. And here, Apollo, thank you for tuning in. I'm Lori Lori again. Uh, she has uh, a lovely Lori's... beret from you. Who? Lori. You Lori says she oh, yeah, has yeah. a lovely beret. Right, yeah. Her. And Jed Ryan, we love, we love Jed. Jed. Yeah. Jed's working on film right now that we're all in. Yes. We're so excited. He says, I'm glad you use color film for this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, Jed? We're so sensible. My girlfriend, uh, Lynn Scannell from Gloucester. Hi, Lynn. How are she you? Says hello from Gloucester. Yeah. All right. And, uh, just a second. Okay. Yeah. Apollo Jeff loves Rebirth. Kingston, too. Apollo, did, okay. yeah. Kingston's great. Yeah, well, Kingston now Kingston. so happening. It's like, yeah. I lived there years uh -huh. ago. Yeah. yeah, now it's like super happening. And Jeff Burke says, oh, hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> Be Claudia. Good late. I'm sorry, I can't see. Be Claudia, Claudia. from Germany. Germany. Thank you. Good oh, late says, evening. Sorry, had to work and we'll catch up. Be Claudia. Sending love to you, Wendy Stewart. And B has had different color hair too. Yes. Like, she like you want to steal that hat. Yes. Steal it. Yeah. Um, just the real princess. Yeah, the real princess. Wow. Well, yeah, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> Mindy, and she loves a yeah, hat. So, yeah. Yep. Stealing via the internet. Okay. And Lynn says, happy Easter week. Happy okay, Easter, guys. Lynn. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, you know, everyone who tuned in. We love, this is perfect. we do. We love all your comments. Yeah. Okay. okay. You know where you can find Mindy. If you're in New York, you can come to her show April 11th, 7 p.m. at Pangea. In the meantime, you can catch up with her on social media. It's yeah. all good, right? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And Miss Wow. Miss Wow. She'll be there. Actually, my other dolls, my other dolls will be there too. I have, th I have three oh, dolls. So they'll all be there on stage. Uh -huh. I love it. It's yeah. great. It's all great. Right. All well, right. Mindy, thank you so much. Oh my God.
<laughs> she's so fun. Uh, no, we had a great time. We had Thank a great so time. I know we won. Oh, she brought us banana bread too, which we can I'm eat. a big baker. I know oh, you're a big, big baker. Week, I am. Yeah, <laughs> banana bread. Banana yeah. bread. Yeah. Good. Good. Thank you so very thank much. You. Thank really you fun. for tuning thank in. Thank you, everyone, who tuned in. See you next week. Bye bye. <laughs>